Hello everyone, this is Zaya from Carnuba Detailing, and today we'll be talking about the McCulloch MC1375 canister steam system. So, when you make your purchase of this steamer, it comes in at around $169, okay? You do get a lot of attachments with it right over here with this little McCulloch baggie. Um, I'll be honest with you guys and girls, if you're working on cars and just automotive detailing in general, you're probably not going to be using a lot of this, the attachments that come with the steamer, okay? I use about two or three attachments and that's really it, and I'll get into what those attachments are in a few minutes. I want to move on to the actual steamer itself real quick, okay? Um, it's hard plastic pretty much all the way around. It does come with these two wheels on the back to help you roll it around if you'd like. Um, besides that, you do have this um, kind of little cradle for your, your gun over here, your handle or your nozzle, whatever you want to call it. I don't use that too often because it's kind of finicky. Another thing that's kind of finicky with this actual steamer is this little safety button over here that they have for the trigger. Um, it gets in the way a lot. Your thumb can activate it. Your finger can activate it while you're steaming away at your carpets or upholstery. So I wish that they can address that, maybe change the design just a tad bit to move that somewhere else along this nozzle. Besides that, the other issue that I have with this actual steamer is when I am going to steam, and rather than steam coming out, hot water comes out, which is not a good thing. Doesn't happen all the time. It does happen too a little bit too frequently than what I would like. So to address that issue, all I do is before I actually steam whatever the carpet, the upholstery, whatever I'm doing, I point it at the ground somewhere where I don't care where the water is going to be. Hit it one or two times, make sure there's no water coming out and there's just steam. And then I go on to actual, actually steaming the carpets, upholstery, whatever it is. So that's just a heads up to you. Something that I've noticed, something that I don't like with the actual steamer. Moving on to the actual hose itself. And let me just remind you guys, I live in the northwest suburbs and work in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. So it gets really cold over here, it gets really hot over here and humid. So this hose is expanding and contracting every time I bring it in and out of the garage or wherever I'm working. So that leads to faster development of cracks and leaks and things like that. But I've had the steamer for about a year and I've had zero cracks, zero leaks, zero issues with the hose itself. Now I have seen reviews online, whether it be Amazon or other websites that sell this product, and I do see customers complaining about the hose at times. Now that might just be a faulty hose coming out of manufacturing, or it could be misuse of the hose. I don't drag it with the hose, I don't yank on the hose, I try to be very gentle with my tools to prolong their lifespan. So that's just a heads up to you guys and girls. The wire itself, pretty high quality too um, haven't had any issues with cracks just like the hose everything has been spot on so far and it's a very substantial length I don't really need an extension cord when I go to use the steamer most of the time it is a good enough length for me to move around a whole midsize or large SUV so that's good because you got to remember you do have the length of the hose which is a couple feet and you do have the length of the wire which is a couple feet as well combine those two you don't necessarily need an extension cord with this tool um, you do have this dial right over here this does not reg regulate the temperature whatsoever I know some people get confused about that this regulates the amount of pressure and steam that you want coming out of your nozzle when you're about to use the actual steamer okay it's got a minus sign and a plus sign and you just dial it in to however you like it you do have this other dial right over here that tells you how much pressure you have built up. It has a green level, a yellow, and a red. So it lets you know how much pressure you got going on right over there. This is where you put the water. You can put about 48 ounces of water into the actual steam canister. And you do get a pretty high quality um, little attachment over here. Uh, it does come with a brass fitting and a gasket so it does not leak. So that's great. Put that back on real quick. McCulloch says it takes about 12 minutes for the steamer itself to build up proper operating pressure and temperature. Um, I find it takes a little bit longer and I'll tell you why. So when you build up pressure, I guess what happens is, is that the hose does not build up the pressure as well as the canister does. So you see that you're in the green, you're ready to go, you pull the trigger, steam comes out, 
and then your pressure just drops dramatically to the point where you can't really use the steamer. So what I do is after I leave it running for about 12 minutes or so, like McCulloch says, I come back, I press the button right over here, let some steam come out, and then let it charge back up if you want to call for another five minutes or so. That's just what I do, that's what's been working for me, and that's what gives me proper operating temperatures and pressure so I can detail my clients' vehicles. Um, besides that, just overall with the steamer and my purchase and how I've liked it so far, it's been pretty good to me. I haven't had any reliability issues or anything like that. And um, if you guys seen my previous videos, you know reliability is a very big thing for me. Um, I will dread the day that I walk up to a customer and tell them that I can't take care of the vehicle today because my steamer isn't working or my generator isn't working properly or something like that. So I try to take precautions to prevent that kind of thing ever happening. But you know what? Someday it will happen. Um, I doubt that. It will anytime soon because all of my tools and products have been taken care of to the best of my ability. So knock on wood on that. We'll see what happens. But just remember, reliability is a big thing for me and it should be a big thing for you if you're trying to get into mobile detailing with clients and customers. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to comment below. If you guys have any recommendations on other steamers that are in the same price range at around $160 to $200, comment below and if you guys have any recommendations for future videos tools or products i will try my best to produce those for you all um like i said the mcculloch mc1375 canister steam system is a great buy for just diy guys and girls that are just trying to take care of the vehicles and maybe speed up the cleaning process on the interior of the vehicle to the best of their abilities or even professionals like myself and other professionals um, to take care of clients' vehicles. Now, I do find myself wanting to upgrade the steamer soon, um, probably not in the next year or so, but sometime in the future, I would like to upgrade the steamer to something better because, like I said, the Chicagoland area is a lot of salt. The interiors get really dirty, and I just want something that builds up pressure a little bit faster and doesn't really have any issues with the safety because that gets annoying sometimes and also doesn't have any issues with that excessive water um, spillage from the nozzle over there. So I want to find something that removes those issues, solves those issues for me. So I might be getting rid of the steamer or maybe just leaving it as backup sometime in the future. But like I said, same thing with some of my other videos. You don't need a professional or commercial or industrial steamer to get the job done, okay? It's just not needed. They're bulky at times. They're really heavy compared to this one. Um, so you're going to find yourself struggling to save room in your vehicle at times. But there are some other steamers out there that are a higher price point. that are very mobile, just like this one is. Um, but you just got to remember you're going to be spending a little bit more money on your tool. Uh, but sometimes for good reason. So just a heads up. Uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, feel free to subscribe as well and like the video. That would be awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.